It's amazing and it's a lot of fun and it's really, really informative. It's one of the very, very few events where you have such a diverse group of excellent young research from all over the world. It's an opportunity to you know, meet a lot more people, uh, work with students, mentor students. Be in touch with, with the rest of the world in terms of research and science and, and humans. That's just amazing. Our goal is to promote mathematics and computer science in the public understanding for them. In the Laureate Forum, we intend to bring together the winners of the most prestigious awards with the most promising young researchers from all over the world. They all meet in Heidelberg. I think Klaus saw an opportunity. He had a vision. He had a great vision. In particular, to raise the visibility of mathematics and computer science in Europe initially. So my hope was really to give the opportunity uh, to students from all over the world, and particularly for those parts of the world where people are not that fortunate. I expected in some sense what we have gotten here, that some of the best stars in computer science and mathematics meet with the next generation. The Heidelberg Laureate Forum represents one of the main goals of the Klaus Chira Foundation, the appreciation and the recognition of mathematics and computer science. So here we really bring people from math and computer science together and over the week they get into discussions, we try to put them in discussions on stage also and this interaction and conversation between mathematics and computer science I think it's very important and in particular in our days. Well, I particularly like it that we had a joint conference with computer scientists. I like computer scientists. They are very creative people. And lectures on theoretical computer science, it was wonderful mathematics. It's a whole week, and so there are so many opportunities for interaction between the students and the laureates. And I can tell you that the laureates get as much out of this as the students do. When I received the, the confirmation, I was so happy, like really, literally happy, like, oh, I can go there, and this is in presence, like, you know, this is really important. When I come to HLF, the students are the experts. They are the ones that understand where research is going, what, what are the latest findings, and, and, and what the implications are there. For me, I feel like I provide maybe uh, mentorship, uh, hopefully inspiration, but at the end of the day, the students, the young student researchers, are the more expert. They're teaching me most of the time at this point. The evenings are equally important, or more important, where you just go to a bar and, and, and continue all the discussions. And I, and I think that's, that's really done well, this mix of the formal part, but also the very, very, very fruitful informal part. I personally think that all these dinners and all these beautiful ways of sharing time together, where you are not in a rush like we scientists usually are, is very important for these kind of special and important moments during the HLF. Of course, the first year was the tricky one. We were not sure how many of the laureates would accept our invitation and how their meeting with the young researchers would work out. We hoped that this would trigger the same kind of collegial exchange that we saw at the Lindau meetings with the Nobel Prize winners. So my expectations and hopes were that we really had created something new and unique and it would work. What we experienced at the first HLF exceeded all our expectations. I think it was really basically accomplished in the first year. First year we're overwhelmed by the application. And then once you have done it the first year, then success is guaranteed. The young researchers are coming from over 50 countries, so from all over the world. And it's just lovely to see everybody mix and talk and you know, exchange their experiences of their work, but also just as people. Having connection, looking what other people like me are doing around the world, because in here we are from all over the world, it's such inspiring. To see as many women in the young researchers here, as uh, to see as many men and women of color, to see computer science and mathematics sort of on an equal footing, to me, HLF is really about providing an opportunity in an equal way.
Diversity matters, especially in science, and the HLF provides this room of interdisciplinary exchange and prosperity. The most dramatic change was in 2020 when they had to suddenly go fully virtual. And I think what's really interesting is realizing that it is the interaction that's the most important part and that's the thing they've got back this year. At the core of the HLF is the personal encounter between laureates and young researchers. The only chance for them to meet each other is uh, at the HLF. This couldn't happen. So I think this year, so 2022, is definitely a highlight that we are back in person. We are back to really experience more what I call the spirit of the HLF, so this atmosphere of interaction, stimulating discussion, these uh, coffee break conversations which you cannot replicate in the digital format. The outreach activities are a crucial component of the HLF. Imagine we wouldn't have any. It would not have any impact on Heidelberg, on the society at large, and on scientifically interesting people. I think so one thing we try to bring in more is bring in more interaction also in the scientific program. So not only have laureate lectures, but for example, have a laureate discussion. We need more young people pursuing these fields because in the near future, we need many more experts in this field to keep our technologically founded society up and running. I think growth is the key part of why you come to HLF. You grow as a researcher, grow as a person, you grow as a collaborator, you grow as a leader, and in one environment, you can start to get exposed to all of that, which is very unique to HLF. HLF changed my life. <laughs> I mean, uh, it has given visibility to mathematics on a level that I never anticipated. I'm so happy to just to have this HLF every year, and it's something that you, that you know, okay, next year is coming up, okay, I have Christmas, I have Easter, and I have the HLF. Putting together those luminaries with, let's say, the next generation of brilliant young minds is a formula which cannot fail. It's a bonding experience for them. And so they stay in touch with each other, and some of these friendships last for decades. My hope is that many young researchers will find a role model and uh, not only get inspiration, but uh, also kind of friendship. <laughs>